Talking the college football playoff here, joined by the chief operating officer of the college football playoff, Michael Kelly. And, Michael, I know you and Bill Hancock are going around at the different media days throughout college football. You do a lot of interviews. What's the one question you're asked the most? What is this new playoff? <laughs> and it's really quite simple. It's the four best teams are going to play it off in two semifinals to decide who's going to be in this very first college football playoff national championship. So we're excited about this season and getting out there and trying to make sure people understand what's about to hit them. You joined the college football playoff in 2012 in November. What has been the biggest challenge from that point to where we are today? It's really just been fascinating to be, get everything set up. We've had a chance to set up our new office uh, to work with uh, identifying the six bowls that are going to rotate to host the semifinals, run bid processes to identify who's, what cities are going to have the opportunity to host this national championship weekend. So it's just been getting all the infrastructure in place, and now that we're uh, now we're really in promotional mode and getting ready for this first season to get everybody knowledgeable about all the things to experience during with all six of our games, but also with the semifinals and finals, which will be uh, just a dream come true for college football fans. So we're all excited about the destination, which is the semifinals and the finals. What, though, part about this journey from now until that point are you looking forward to the most? Oh, just the uh, again, just the, the build up and excitement. They're going to be talking about this inaugural playoff season. It'll be the it's been a dream of so many for so long, and. Uh, just, just really looking forward to what uh, what this New Year's celebration is going to be like. You know, all, you know, we have a triple header on New Year's Eve, a triple header on New Year's Day, and this particular year of the rotation, you know, having the Rose and Sugar Bowl serving as our playoff semifinals and uh, as the as the as the uh, in prime time on on New Year's Day, it's just going to be uh, so exciting. To actually, put a sports holiday on a holiday, and it's all about college football. You've been around athletics for a long time, collegiately and with the NFL, working on some Super Bowls as head of the host committee. How do those two things compare, the Super Bowl to what, what is anticipated here with the college football playoff, maybe the similarities and differences between the two? Well, obviously, they're, they're, they're celebrating what's the greatest sport in, yeah. in, in America. It's so popular. Obviously, the NFL's had amazing popularity, and college football just grows each and every year. A lot of that could have been attributed to the BCS, but I really believe the playoff's going to make this interest in college football grow even, even more. And, uh, you know, the whole idea of the playoff, it's going to be in, in this national championship game, it's going to become the next great iconic sporting event in American soil. So be, having a chance to be a part of that and having a chance for all of us as fans to be a part of it is, is really, really exciting. Our managing editor at Campus Insiders is Pete Futak, and I think that he echoes the sentiment of a lot of fans. And when he says the biggest thing for the committee is transparency, as the season goes on, how much information do you think the committee is going to be able to share with fans throughout the process this year? I think the biggest step forward in, in that transparency is the fact that the selection committee stepped up and realized that you know, they, they were willing to dedicate themselves to come to Dallas each and every week from October 28th until December 7th to sit there, analyze the teams, talk about them, and put out rankings each and every week. That allowed the coaches, players, uh, fans to know where their team stands all the way into it. There were some that might have thought, hey, wait till the end and just kind of let everybody know. But they just didn't think that was the right thing for the sport. Uh, wasn't the right thing for the players, coaches, and fans, and and so they're 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 putting it in there and, and really uh, dedicating themselves to studying the uh, studying these teams each and every week. As we sit here in Las Vegas, currently at the Mountain West Conference Media Days, so I'll, I'll ask the question for the fans of the Mountain West: How can one of their teams, their favorite team, get into this four-team playoff? What what would that look like? Well, I thought Commissioner Thompson uh, talked about that really well yesterday when he, when he said, "Look, you know, you got to win your you got to win our conference." So that's, that's without question, but uh, we've got a lot of good teams here in the Mountain West. But then as you schedule up and, and the type of teams they play, I think he gave the example of Fresno State playing so many tough teams right off the bat. You play in, you win those games, you're going to be obviously considered. There's no qualifications of, of what conference you have to be from. Everyone that's eligible for postseason play in FBS is eligible and being analyzed for these top four teams. And obviously our selection committee is not just doing the top four teams, they're also doing the, the top 25 rankings that really permeate uh, the, you know, the playoff system, but also all the different New Year's Six Bowls and really the other bowls that conferences evaluate as well. So the rankings of the selection committee are what matters, and if you're not in the top four, probably being in that top 12 uh, you know, will, will you know, probably get you close to being in one of those games. And in the case of the Mountain West, whoever is the highest rated champion of the group of five conferences will have a guaranteed slot in one of our uh, you know, triple header games on either New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. So wow. it's a it's a huge opportunity, a major difference from the BCS era when there was a threshold they had to meet in the ranking. Now they just have to be the, the highest ranked of those of those group of five champions. Well, that has to be music to the ears of Mountain West fans, and I think college football fans everywhere. You excited? I mean, as the um, fan in you, you have to be excited uh, about this. We really we get so excited in our staff office about what what we're about to deal. It's going to be a busy year, but everyone yeah. just uh, it's a labor of love, and we all just uh, pinch ourselves like you and. 
and all our fans do because uh, college football is about to enter a new era. It's, it's really it's exciting. exciting. That's wonderful. Well, Michael Kelly, uh, Chief Operating Officer for College Football Playoff, thanks so much for taking a few minutes with us. My pleasure. Thank you. And for continuing coverage of the college football playoff throughout the fall, keep it here to CampusInsiders.com as well as CollegeFootballPlayoff.com.